let's install another great add-on for Comfy UI called the Python GOS scripts. It brings us a wealth of interesting features, one of which is this very nice image browser. Uh, if I drag one of the previously generated images on the workspace, it immediately changes all the settings and prompts back to uh, the ones that belong to that image, which is of course very handy. Um, this may not show, let me click it away, it may not immediately show and uh, what you have over here on the menu is a little tiny extra icon, that's the image browser that you can open over there. Also it is possible to change the location of the browser, for that we have to open the settings and here we have the image feed location, it's now at the left, let's put it at the bottom and um, probably I will have to change a couple of uh, settings now like the columns and maybe the size, whatever you like. Uh, I, I greatly appreciate this image browser, it is really very handy. Let's first have a look how we can install these scripts and then we'll have a look at a couple of other features that it has to install. Uh, we can go to the manager and install custom nodes and we uh, do a search for scripts uh, because that's in the name of this node and it should end up here. Uh, there is only one that has scripts and there should be an install, a black install button here. I have already installed it. And that's all you need to do. And then restart ComfyUI and you'll have all these features available. When we open the settings again, we see these little green snakes. Uh, they are the extra features that we now have. And one of the ones that I really like is always snap to grid, which I have put on. Let's have a look how that works. Normally if you move a, um, a block around, it moves yeah, uh, wherever you put it. But right now as we zoom in, what you can see is it automatically snaps to grid. So we do not have to press the shift button or key anymore. And also with resizing, what it does, it resizes always neatly to the grid. And that can make your layouts a little bit more neat and tidy. We also have this little preview image here in the menu. And that is this tick mark over here, show image on menu. What I also like are these straight lines between the nodes. By default uh, they are splines and we can go back to those splines. We have uh, the straight lines selected but the splines are what is the normal situation and the, these are these elastic lines between the nodes which is great but for neat and tidy layouts I personally uh, like in most cases the straight lines. So that's that. Uh, and then we also have uh, yet another feature which is if you have a drop down like we have here with the checkpoint loader or also with a LoRa loader you can have those drop downs. Uh, you can show an image. I have only two right now. Look, when I hover over this checkpoint I get a small pop-up window and uh, the trick is that this, this is a special loader. Uh, if you would add the uh, loader node uh, you have now uh, a LoRa and a checkpoint loader uh, from uh, Python GOS and uh, those ones have that uh, image pop-up feature included. How to get those images there? For that we have to add them in the models checkpoints folder. So in the Comfy UI models checkpoints folder or in the LoRa folder, you have your checkpoints and what you have to do is add a JPEG or a ping image with exactly the same name as the name of the model. 
and then they will automatically pop up uh, once you uh, use these special checkpoint loaders. There still are a couple more features in the Python GOS scripts. Uh, one of them is for instance the custom colors. Uh, you are not limited to the default colors and well there's, there's actually a lot more than I am now showing in this short video. Just, just go to his GitHub page and uh, have a look what else you can do. Mm, well this was it uh, let's return and let's have a look this is the workflow for sdxl with the base and the refiner um, i have a link in the description that goes to uh, my google drive where you, you can uh, download all the workflows that i'm using what i'm using over here is this node which is interesting if i want to select a width and a height uh, you have this uh, list of um, widths and heights that comes by default for sdxl and we can simply select one of these from this list and what i did also for the uh, version 1 uh, models uh, we have these smaller size uh, and uh, I added that myself to the Python script let's have a look in the next video how this can be done it's really uh, very handy to have this for quick selection maybe see you back there in the meantime have fun <laughs>